Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we love showing off our beavers. I'm your host, E, and today I'm responding to community comments. Our first comment is from Eric Cartman7361, and he says, I'm hoping for an update on that Stephen King movie Ben Stiller is doing. So, here's your update. Ben Stiller purchased the rights to Rat from Stephen King's novella collection, If It Bleeds. But due to the writer's strike, I'm pretty sure that project is on hold indefinitely. Not to mention, Ben Stiller will be playing Jack Torrance in a stage play adaptation of The Shining. That's sure to be <laughs> wild as hell. Next comment is from It's Chow Faraz? I'm ho I hope I'm getting that right. Faraz says, Hey dude, love your channel, and I'm loving the redo of your series. I'm a fairly new arrival to the King's universe, having read only Carrie, Salem's Lot, Cell, The Shining, Doctor Sleep, and Misery, in that order. My question to you would be, what's the best way to read King? Should I keep going in chronological order? Meaning my next one would be Book 4, The Stand. Many thanks. Yes, Faraz, I suggest you and anyone else who is looking to do a deep dive into Stephen King's work to read those books in chronological order. It is the best way to catch all of the connections and then you can come back and watch the theory videos. Our next comment comes from The Rev Nation, who's been a long time sur sur I almost said survivor. A long time subscriber. Let's see what Rev has to say. Sir, good sir. Leaving comments in the comment section is fine, but leaving comments in the is much more fun. Where art thou? I had to reply, Tis been retired. Welcome to the new era. I'm well aware some of you had absolutely no problem with the way I used to do things. Please believe me when I tell you that I am much happier now. Thank you. Now onto some comments I received on my The Stephen King Theorist videos. On my video for Carrie, Jake Brennan had this to say. Give me damn Redux reviews. <laughs> I don't know why I read it like that, man, but that's how I read it in my head. Jake goes on to say, I'm curious if the black man is also the dark man from King's poem, originally published in 1969, which served as the basis for Randall Flagg. DX Maniac 01 also left a comment with regards to my theory about the black man in Carrie. And when I say the black man, I'm not talking about an African-American man. What I'm talking about is King describes a man with skin that is solid black. DX says, My assumption is that the black man is a reference to H.P. Lovecraft's Naralatotep. I'm not pronouncing that word again. Specifically, in this case, from Dreams in the Witch House. I could be wrong, but I know Stephen King was a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan. Seeing as both Randall Flagg is the Dark Man from the original poem and the Man in Black from the Dark Tower, all of this, Jake and DX's comments, fit nicely. Thanks, guys. Now moving on to comments from my theory video for The Dead Zone. Y'all had a lot to say about my theory about how everyone gets their powers. My buddy Pat Costin had this to say. Johnny Smith hit his head by falling on ice as a kid, so he was showing mind powers before the car accident. The coma after the car accident somehow enhanced his mind powers. And Brad Perkins had this to say. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Carrie had powers since birth. Didn't Margaret try to kill her when she was a baby and Carrie started crying and used her powers to make her stop? Next, Harry Stephen King reviews. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say that name. I know it's spelled H-A-R-R-Y, but every time I read it aloud, I think of Harry, as in, you're a Harry person talking about Ste I'm. Let's move on. Harry Stephen King Review 6385 says, I like the idea that Carrie had her powers full force after the traumatic event, but her powers came on full force before that with the Reign of Stones, so it wasn't just a shower scene. While I understand what you guys are getting at, and maybe I was not clear enough, when I said they brought it on full force, it was not to say that we hadn't seen those powers before, it was to say that after a traumatic incident, it seems like either powers get stronger or they come on for the very first time. Needless to say, I agree with all of you, you're all correct. Both of these characters, both Johnny Smith and Carrie White, had powers before the big event. But at the same time, 
let's look at what it's like to be a baby. A baby crying. Not that any of us can remember that time. But think about a baby crying. Wanting food. Being upset for whatever reason. Maybe Carrie White was just colicky. And that's what brought the rain of storms down. That can still be considered a traumatic event, especially in the mind of a child who has experienced nothing else in the world. Thanks for those comments, though. It really got me thinking about how I was going to reply. And I love things that make me think. Patrick Costin also brought up another interesting example of how people get their powers. In Firestarter, Charlie McGee and her father and her mother were... Ex well, the mother and father were experimented on in MK Ultra type scientific experiments. And those experiments were done by the shop. The shop, which has roots in Maine. Both the Mist and the Tommyknockers happen in Maine. And the shop's, one of the shop's headquarters is what spawns the creatures from the Mist. And last but certainly not least, Brad Perkins comes back with another comment. This one was on my theory video for Cujo. And Brad says, My two cents is the thing in Tad's closet could possibly be another or the same boogeyman from the Night Shift story. I really, really love this idea. The reason why is because we don't know where the boogeyman came from. Could the boogeyman be an outsider? Pennywise? Any kind of creature in the same vein? I love that you caught that and I love that you brought it up, Brad. I appreciate you. But that's all of the time I have for you today. Make sure to comment down there on all of the videos and maybe you'll show up in this series. But until next time... Whoa, 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 whoa.